people want to know how do I actually tell stories with data? Yes. But do you have any best practices and tips that you can share on how do people get started? They have a data set and let's say they know their audience. Yep. What is the next step? How do they actually tell that story? Yeah, and this is a great question because I think oftentimes people say, yeah, this makes sense, but then they look at their own work and there's a gap between where things are at and like going through a full-blown story presentation. And so one easy, super tactical thing that you can do immediately is for every graph you communicate, this, these aren't the graphs that you look at behind the scenes, right? Those can be whatever you want. They can be quick and dirty. They don't need to tell a story, right? That's you analyzing the data, figuring out what's interesting. But once you're to the point where you have something that you now want to communicate to somebody else, for every graph you're going to show, write a sentence about it. And then, and that sentence can be about what's the main, what's the main thing I want people to see in this graph? What's the main thing I want them to know? In some cases you'll find it's this crazy run on sentence and there are 20 things you want them to know. And then that's an indication, okay, maybe we should break this up into more pieces yeah. or highlight one or a couple of things at a time. There's another challenge when you actually can't come up with the sentence, in which case I would say, okay, don't communicate that graph. <laughs> And in other cases, we'll come up with this sentence where once we say it, now someone else looking at the graph has been primed, if they hear or read these words, to know what to look for. So write your sentence about your graph and then put those words on the page. Right? And I'll, I'm often an advocate if you're, if you're doing your graphs in some tool and then PowerPoint or Keynote or some sort of slide where becomes the container that you use to put those in and send them out, think about how you use that title space at the top. Put your takeaway there. They did a study that showed if you titled the graph with the takeaway, people were subsequently more likely to remember the takeaway. Mm -hmm. okay, so if there's something that you want your audience to know, put it yep. in words. And then I'm an advocate of make those words stand out, make them big, make them bold, put them in high priority places on the page, like the top or the title of the graph is another place to put this. We see this done in the media a lot in ways that works well. So now you've got your sentence about your graph, or maybe you have a lot of graphs, you have a lot of sentences about, or you have a sentence about each. Now think about where do you want people to look when they encounter your visual? To you, it's totally obvious because you know your data, you made the graph, so you know where you should pay attention and what's interesting. And I think we sometimes have the false assumption that our audience should also, and if they sit with it long enough, they probably could do, but they may go down a different path with it. And so if there's somewhere specific you want your audience to look, which if you're communicating something specific, there should be, do things to draw their attention there. One thing that we use often, you'll see it in examples throughout the book and throughout all of our work is just sparing use of color. If you do everything grayscale or black and white and use color sparingly, you can use it in this really powerful way to signal to your audience where you want them to look. But color is not the only option. Any sort of clear contrast that signals that something is different or something is noteworthy to your audience will be a good way to do that. Because we think about this path to getting towards story, because right? you can imagine if you have a number of graphs and analysis and you do this for all of them, you, know, you can step back and say, how do they fit together? And then you can start using those sentences you've written, some connector words to weave your narrative. And thinking about how you want to take your audience on the journey. Is there context you need to share up front? Or do you want to tell them up front what the main takeaway is and then work in the context? And there'll be different scenarios that'll call for different things. But I think the biggest thing to think about is what does success look like? And how do I align my materials to help create a successful scenario? Because too often we just fall into habits. We communicate the same way we've always done because we've always done it that way without mm -hmm. thinking about and optimizing for the specifics of the given scenario. And the more important the thing is, the more time we should think about identifying those specifics and optimizing our materials and our presentation, right? How we'll talk through the data or what it's going to look like when we send it off to meet those specifics. Yeah, absolutely. I a comment on when you were talking about writing that sentence, I've heard this reference uh, in other talks as well. I think it's a common practice to write the tweet first, write the sentence first. What are you trying sure. to say? And one thing I like is if you actually show that chart to, let's say, a colleague or maybe somebody not familiar with the data and ask them, what do they think that sentence is? 
you ask eight different people and you get eight different answers, chances are you have to go back and totally. find that chart to actually match the story that you're telling. But all a very great points. Really appreciate that. For similar content, go ahead and subscribe to the dedicated YouTube channel.